Hi guys, today I am here to do a review of Willow by Julia Hoban. I'm just gonna start by saying that I hated this book. I gave it one star on Goodreads. It is a disgusting story and I'm gonna explain my points. So yeah, if you don't agree with me, that's not okay. That's not okay. Because there's reasons. So Willow is a story of a girl that cuts and I'm gonna read you the summary before we start. Seven months ago, on a rainy March night, Willow's parents drank too much at a dinner and asked her to drive them home. But they never made it. Willow lost control of the car and both of her parents were killed. Now the only way she knows how to survive and control the pain is by secretly cutting herself. But then Willow meets Guy, a boy as sensitive and complicated as she is. She finds it hard to keep the secret that's written all over her body. No. Just fuck no. This is not a self-harm story. This is a love story that features a cutter and it's not even that. It is the story of a codependent relationship that sickly revolves and surfaces through self-harm issues. I have been dealing with heavy self-harm issues for quite a while ago. I was a cutter and it wasn't until like about a year ago that I finished with my treatment and with my recovery. And I am upheld and slightly insulted to think that a story like this is even out there worse than people think it's sweet. Willow is a 16 year old that self-harms. And for what it's worth, I will say that the author did portray the, the feeling and the need for cutting well in the story, but apart from that, the book was shit. Why? Because the reason why Willow stops cutting, it's because she meets a boy. A 16 year old guy named Guy. Guy barely knows Willow. Literally one previous encounter, when he finds out about her cutting and immediately wants to help her. He wants to tell Willow's brother that she cuts, he doesn't. Then he's just constantly checking on her and making sure she's not cutting and checking her wrists and yada yada yada. First, and I don't mean to sound bitter or anything, but normal people don't do that. And I know this from past experience. I've been through the self-harm valley. I've been there, I've done that, and I got the t-shirts. People don't go out of their way to help you, much less a 16-year-old. And it's not because they're cruel or that they don't want to help you. It's because they don't know what to do and you can't expect them to. Cutting just throws people off balance because we all deal with pain. We've all had, have gone through certain periods, periods of our lives where, you know, things are hard and difficult. But pain, pain is not something that you can easily see at a first glance. Cutting, it's pain literally shown on your body. Cutting, it, it goes against your most basic instincts, which is to be okay, healthy, out of harm's way. Cutting is you being your own worst enemy, which is why you need professional help and not the wisdom of some stranger. No healthy relationship can come out of cutting. You cannot expect someone to come and save you just as much as you cannot expect to save someone else, which is exactly how Willow's and Guy's relationship is. Willow stops cutting herself because of Guy. Can you imagine? Can, can we just imagine what will happen when they break up? Let's be real here. No relationship of a 16-year-old lasts forever. She's gonna go back to cutting because the reason for stopping is no longer there. Other scenario, Willow gets all better, but then Guy loses his interest in her because what he wanted was someone to save and help, and now that she's better, there is no need for that relationship to keep existing. And we can go back to point one that I made when Guy breaks up with Willow and she goes back to cutting. Yeah. Now if you want to be a hopeless romantic and roll your eyes with me, that's fine. But that still doesn't make the relationship shown in this book any better. Self-harm goes way, way beyond cutting. That's just the surface. It is a state of mind in which you constantly sabotage yourself because of all the anger, the hurt, or whichever issue it is the person is going through. And Willow never goes through proper so does that mean that love can't help someone that self-harms? Yes, it can. But it is not Prince Charming coming to save you. And this I know from experience. I was already working through my recovery when I met someone and I was inspired slash motivated by them to get better 
for myself. I didn't stop cutting for that person. I stopped cutting for me because I wanted to be in a good, better state of mind to be with my partner at the time. At the time. Which is why when that relationship ended, I didn't go back to just slicing my wrists. And this book just pisses me off so bad. Recovery isn't a cute boy telling you not to cut and then going on to happily ever after. Recovery is hard work. It is slowly working through your problems and your triggers. Recovery is quite the uphill battle because you are your own enemy. Recovery is really fucking hard and painful. It is about respecting yourself enough to know that you are worth the efforts and the struggles to be healthy. Recovery is about relapsing because you will relapse. It's normal, but it is also about finding the strength and courage to forgive yourself and keep working hard. I just find it deeply insulting to see a problem so severe as self-harm be dismissed as a minor flaw that will disappear as soon as you meet a love interest. If you're going through a similar issue of the sort, please, please seek professional help. And I know it's hard. I, I know it's hard. Because trust me, the hardest step you will ever take throughout your recovery is actually saying and meaning that you want to get better. That's without a doubt the hardest part. And if you want a book that will actually help you through it, I recommend Cut by Patricia McCormick. It is a small, thin book. It's 160 pages long. And it's all about taking that first step to say, I want to get better. It helped me immensely through my recovery and really made me want to work hard. And also, if, if, if you're not struggling with self-harm issues but would like to know more about it, would really like to get into the mind of someone that self-harms, this book portrays it beautifully and very much on point. It is the best book that I found that realistically portrays the, the, a person that self-harms without being exaggerated or anything. It's not, it's not like a huge story that's just so out of this world. It's just so honest. I highly recommend it and I will be linking it down below. All that said, this book was just unbelievable. Would not recommend this book to anyone and I, am, I, I just feel really disappointed in the author and in the irresponsibility of putting a story like this out there because any vulnerable mind that reads this will just get the impression that the only way to get better is finding someone to come and save you. Fuck. No. Give it one star on Goodreads. It deserves zero stars, actually. It's just... No. And if you're wondering why did I even continue with this book if I hated it so much, it's because I really wanted to talk about it and make a review about it, but I wanted to know fully if she ever actually went to proper and such. It never happened. It was just a love, sick love story. And, um... For the longest time, I was searching for books that dealt with cutters so that I could relate to them and see that recovery was possible. So I, I was searching for books, and one of the ones I picked up was Willow, and it turned out to be shit. So I don't, I don't, I, I want to put a review out there so that if anyone is like me and wants a book that can help them, they will find books that will help them. Not, not this piece of shit. This, this, this is shit. And that's it for today. I know I kind of got personal on this, but it's just such a deep, deep issue, and it's problematic, and I went through so much and so, such a fucking hard recovery to see books like this, to just, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section if you want, if you, yeah. I'll see you guys in the next video. Best wishes. Bye. I'm gonna go drink lemonade to cool down because I'm just... <sighs> <sighs>